Howdy everyone, it's Sam. I hope you're doing really well. If you're new around here, hope I can get you to consider liking the content and subscribing to the channel. And if you are a regular around these here parts, thank you very much for the continuous support. Three rounds in, I'm 100% in the NRLW tipping competition. We're up to round four, and there are some massive, massive encounters in round four of the 2022 NRLW season. Let's get cracking. The first game of round four is from Amy Park at one o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. It is the Gold Coast Titans versus the Parramatta Eels and the Titans are $2.26 outsiders, technically the home side, whereas the Parramatta Eels are $1.64 favorites. There's no team list changes for the Parramatta Eels. Gold Coast Titans have a couple. April Naktapuna uh, will be coming in in jersey number 16 off the bench and North Queensland Gold Star Jasmine Peters will make her first appearance in the NRLW uh, for 2022 in favor for Hagiga Mosby. Uh, both these sides are winless so far and the Parramatta Eels, to be fair, have shown the better form. They were just just pipped at the post last weekend against the Newcastle Knights, whereas the Gold Coast Titans, oh man, against the Brisbane Broncos, that was not that was not good. Um, I think the Parramatta Eels do deserve a win more so than the Titans, but you know it's about who shows up on the day. Down at Amy Park, uh, the first of two NRLW games uh, down there on Saturday afternoon, first of three real first grade games um, down there at Amy Park. So if you're down in Melbourne, rugby league's on for young, old, male, female uh, on Saturday, so get down there. But uh, yeah, I, I'm really starting to get switched off from the Gold Coast Titans. They're, um, they they just don't seem to hold the ball, and they, they, they do still, as I said before a couple of weeks ago, have some really good ideas in attack, but just there's no polish in the execution's really, really poor. And um, the Parramatta Eels, they've they've taken the Dragons, they've taken the Newcastle Knights uh, all the way to, to the edge and even to a degree the Roosters. So they're not far off. And if they can keep their intensity, if they can keep their consistency uh, this weekend, I think the Eels will get the win, a much needed win against the Gold Coast Titans. So Parramatta Eels, I'll just go, I'll just go below that 13 plus margin. I'll go uh, something to the tune of a uh, 22 points to 22 points to 10 victory over the Gold Coast Titans this Saturday. The second game of round four in the NRLW and the second game from down at Amy Park in Melbourne kicks off at 2:50 in the afternoon. The Brisbane Broncos, technically the home side, are hosting the St George Illawarra Dragons. The Broncos are $2.65 outsiders, whereas the Dragons are $1.47 favourites. There are a couple of changes for both of these sides. Aneta Nuasala, a Kiwis prop, she was uh, originally with the Newcastle Knights in the 21 season that was at the start of the year, uh, but she's been named to make her Brisbane Broncos debut, uh, and that pushes out uh, Sautia from, uh, into the reserves list. And then for the St. George Illawarra Dragons, um, both, uh, well, there's two uh, interchange players last week uh, that copped uh, injuries, Tegan Dimmick uh, and Chantel uh, Tugaga. And coming in for her, uh, or coming in for both of them, uh, just reading off the interchange list uh, for the Dragons, Quincy Dodd, Tali Holmes, Mona Lisa Soliola, who's the first ever rugby league try scorer in Allianz Stadium history, or, you know, the updated version of it. And then Jersey 17, Tara McGrath West, also for the Dragons, uh, pushing, pu pushing out Casey, Cassie Staples is Andy Robinson. Uh, Andy Robinson was a late omission. Oh my God. Andy Robinson was a late omission last week uh, and uh, Staples came in, but Robinson, she'll be back in, which is a good boost uh, for the St. George Illawarra Dragons. Um, the Dragons... I had them as my premiers. I had them as my grand finalists or one of the grand finalists and they got taken to the edge by the Eels. They didn't really blow out the Titans in round one. And last week they got an absolute reality check from the Sydney Roosters. Uh, whereas the Brisbane Broncos, Jamie Chapman, my goodness, I've been calling for her to 
stand up sort of thing not that I think she's been in bad form but I just have such a great opinion of her and uh, boy howdy she kicked some serious ass last week Jamie Chapman against the Titans uh, I don't know man this is this is actually a flip of the coin for me um, $2.68 is really enticing but I've just got to stick with the uh, tough credentials of the Dragons. I think they'll hit back after being somewhat embarrassed last week against the Roosters. Um, and I think they can get this one, not 13 plus. I think this will be a, a bit of a close game. It's a, a scoreline sort of akin uh, to the previous encounter, a, a 24 points to 14 sort of scoreline. Uh, so Dragons 1 to 12 uh, on Saturday afternoon. And the final game of round four is from Allianz Stadium, kicking off at 1.10pm. It is easily the match of the round in one of the biggest games of the season to date. It is the Sydney Roosters, the favourites at $1.54, hosting the Newcastle Knights who are at $2.48. And that's on Sportsbet. And there are a lot of changes for the Sydney Roosters. So let me go through their entire team list at fullback. Samantha Bremner, holy crap. Uh, then the wingers, uh, Leon Tafuga and Jasmine Strange is a new inclusion on the wing. Jessica Sergis and Isabel Kelly. Harvest pairing is Zahara Tamara and Racine McGregor. McGregor, holy crap. And then the forward pack, uh, this is where things start to get very, very different. Uh, Kalisipani, Hopawati and Maya Hill, Moana, other starting props with Destiny Brill retaining her position in the hooker as hooker. And then the back row reads Atessa Poulet, Olivia Koenig, and Keely Joseph. The interchange bench reads Jocelyn Kelleher, Shanti Tamara, and Jolie Morris, and Samantha Ekonomos. Uh, there's a lot of changes there. So, for example, uh, Sarah Takatugi, Jamie Frazard, they're not going to be part of the fold this weekend, um, which, are, which, which is a blow to the Roosters' chances. Uh, moving into the Newcastle Knights now, there's only a couple of changes. Uh, for example, uh, Kiana Takarangi uh, is in uh, for autumn rain. Stephen Staley, who has suffered a, a, a knee injury, I think it was, uh, but she's missing out. Um, there's also uh, uh, Simone Kapani. She was a late scratching last weekend, uh, which meant Mackenzie Wheel uh, was starting in uh, Jersey 17, but as as a starting lock position. So uh, Wheel moves back into jersey number 17 and the interchange bench, Emma Manselman, who was just recently crowned the Gold Stars player of the season, richly, richly deserved. Uh, Taylor Predabon and Caitlin Moran uh, uh, rounds out the bench with Mackenzie Wheel. I, I think this is, look, if the Roosters were not as edited as much as what they are currently, um, I think that this could have been the match where the Newcastle Knights get brought back down to earth. As I said previously, the Eels were only just pipped at the post by them uh, last weekend. Uh, but yet I just the, the Roosters of, of this season was what I was anticipating um, in the 2021 season. And that 2021 Roosters... Um, who became premiers, they didn't get going until really late in the piece. And, you know, while they won the premiership and while I did sort of predict that they would win the title, it was still a level below of what I was expecting. Now, they are absolutely on fire, these Roosters. Um, so I'm going to tip the Sydney Roosters to win this one. Uh, 1 to 12, I just think their premiership credentials um, that they're, they're proven. And I think even though Tamika Upton is kicking all sorts of ass, and same with Caitlin Johnston, um, I think that it's just not going to be enough to get over the Sydney Roosters, but it's going to be 1-12. to 12. I think this will be a friggin' beauty. We've got a massive weekend of NRLW. Thank you all very much for the continuous support. The, the more likes and the views that this gets, it just shows, um, to me at least anyway, how much the NRLW um, has has raised the bar this year and how much more interest there is. Um, so get around the girls, man, because they're kicking all sorts of ass. Um, so anyway, have a very nice weekend. Finals is here, NRLW round four, especially Roosters versus Knights. It's an absolute cracking weekend of rugby league. So adios, everyone, and I'll talk to you over the next couple of days.